Welcome to another demo from the Micro Rooster. Today's topic will be Microsoft Office integration. A lot of users uh, are dependent on Excel and like to integrate some of MicroStrategy reports into their Excel rather than just exporting the data. MicroStrategy Enterprise allows you to integrate Office into your uh, Microsoft Office. So let's look at the MicroStrategy Office configuration and there's a lot of options that you can control of how you allow Microsoft Office to access your MicroStrategy reports. You can look through them. There's a lot of options about the feel and look. They're all after the report has been ran and generated, so they're, they do not affect your uh, report data. Now here's uh, where the MicroStrategy tab appears if you have uh, downloaded and installed the Office. Office is a component of the Enterprise MicroStrategy, not the MicroStrategy desktop version, just the full installation. If you don't have it, you might want to talk to your admin. You're going to have a few options here. Uh, the options are similar to the configuration options, so you can always reconfigure. But what matters, or the most important one, is connecting. So let's start with that. Let's connect to Microsoft to MicroStrategy. I'm going to look out for my tutorial project source and I'm going to connect to it using my uh, user ID password. But if you are using LDAP, you can use an LDAP security system as well. Once I find my projects, I can log in and it'll connect me into this window, which is a MicroStrategy window. It pretty much gives me the same access that I have using the desktop uh, and here you'll see the folders just look, it's got a different feel and look. So you'll have my reports, saved reports, history, etc. cetera. Um, but you know, you'll find the same content in all of them. Even my history list will show here. So it's a great way to run reports and history lists and pull them out from my strategy. And I can also search for information. If you want to, you know, experiment, you can just pull in any report you want, or you can use the tutorial. Let's pull out one report and bring it into Excel. I'm just going to run it by default. There's multiple types of run. You can experiment them, but this is the most common one. It's got a prompt. It's actually a page by, not a prompt. Uh, so it's asking you which of the page buys do you want. You could select them all. Usually with page buys, you might want to select all unless you're being specific. This is a little different than prompting, okay? They, even though they look and feel the same way. So here's uh, different page buys that we selected. Each one appears on a different uh, tab. Obviously, you can go to the options and change that, which we might do in a second, okay? So let's go here, see what I need to do. All right. Let's pull that information, but in a different format. Let's show you how to run it as a pivot table. I find many users prefer the pivot table over the standard report format, which allows them more Excel control. If you're familiar with Excel and you prefer pivots, this is option. This was one more option that's available to you. Okay. I've seen it used frequently, so I know that some of you might be interested in it. All right. Let's see what I'm going to do here. Let's go to the source. Let's go to the report source and see where the reports can be uh, or are coming from. This is a good way for you to identify the uh, data sources when you're not the creator of a workbook. So it'll show you the, the different areas, where it's coming from, where is it located. You also have the ability to refresh or reprompt individual data sets or reports, or you can view some of their properties or clear them altogether. Like this one is, I just cleared it. Now it should show empty data. Once you refresh, this will get repopulated. Sometimes you have bad data, you just want to remove it from the workbook and you don't want to refresh at the moment, so you can remove it until you refresh later. Again, the properties will give you the information about the file, like where it's coming from. 
in the MicroStrategy desktop, like the path, file path. This is a very useful one, again, when you're not familiar with the sources of uh, the uh, MicroStrategy uh, reports. All right, so I'm going to refresh the data. By refreshing it, I'm making sure that it's getting repopulated. Here, the information, again, I can control the way the layout is coming through once I refresh the data or before I refresh the data. Page by is one that matters usually to me because it's the way I like the pages, whether I want them to be displayed in separate sheets or I want them to be uh, reprompted appear as a prompt and I'm going to save this configuration if I want to reuse it it's very handy I can import it later on in other workbooks so there's all these different options that you can control from the options tab all right let's close this I want to add a prompt to the report that we were looking at so I can show you how the reprompted allows me to change uh, di the information or the workbook dynamically. All right, I'm gonna pull the category from the page by and turn it into a prompted filter. Just allow the user to select the item at runtime. I'll choose the defaults here, make it required. All right, I'm gonna save this in my report so I can use it. Okay, now I'm gonna open a Excel workbook. Let's just start with a fresh one. Let's go and choose the option, the page by option to display all pages. So what I want them to do is I want the prompt to control which sheets appear and the page by the pages to display on all the sheets. I find it a little bit more useful than having to choose the page by at runtime rather than the filter itself. Here is so here if I choose all of them, I'm gonna get four different sheets in this case. Let's run this. Each one run and get populated separately until all of them are populated. Okay, and now let's go and scroll back. Okay, one, two, three, four, great. Show them next to each other. But now if I decide that I want to do something else with the data, or I want to display a little bit less data, I can always reprompt now. And at this time, I can remove or add more information, refresh. And here's the page by. Now it's saying, okay, which one of these page bys do you want to show because we are reprompted? I can keep them all. Let's see what happens here. This is the sheet that was removed. Okay. We also have the ability to package, to uh, bundle up our work, our workbook, and send it to uh, somebody or extract a package that was sent to us. The idea is some of your workbooks might have. Is some flash components or some other HTML components that require additional files that you cannot just share by sending the Excel file. This allows you to create this zip file, send it, and then if somebody send it to you to extract one that was already built for you. Thank you very much for watching this demo.